The VBM laryngeal tube, LTS, has been developed for pre-hospital and clinical airway management. As a stage of development to the LT, the new LTS separates the respiratory from the alimentary tract. Due to the shape and design of the tube, a blind insertion without laryngoscope is possible. The proximal cuff seals the oro and nasopharynx, the distal cuff seals the esophagus and reduces the risk of gastric insufflation. Between the two cuffs are the ventilation holes, which lie in front of the larynx. The tip of the tube is soft and atraumatic. The LTS is available in three sizes. Size 3 for patients less than 155 centimeters, size 4 from 155 to 180 centimeters, and size 5 for patients greater than 180 centimeters. The LTS is latex free and can be autoclaved at 134 degrees Celsius. Both cuffs are inflated with only one inflation line. Before insertion, they have to be evacuated completely with the syringe to avoid damage to the cuffs. To facilitate the insertion, the tube is either lubricated with sterile water or with water-soluble lubricant. For insertion, the head of the patient can be positioned slightly extended or neutral. Hold the LTS like a pen in the area of the teeth marks and insert it along the palate in the midline of the mouth until the teeth mark is level with the upper teeth. Inflate both cuffs with the volume which is indicated on the color-coded syringe. Then connect the LTS to the breathing circuit. Check sufficient ventilation by auscultation of the lungs, chest movement and capnography. If ventilation is not sufficient, the LTS can be repositioned slightly between the teeth marks. In elective procedures, a cuff pressure of 60 cm water is recommended, which can be adjusted with the VBM cuff pressure gauge. The drain tube of the LTS is used for stomach pressure release and allows the insertion of a suction or gastric catheter of maximum 14 charrier. At the end of the procedure, when the patient breathes spontaneously and the protective reflexes have returned, the LTS is removed. It is important that the cuffs are evacuated completely with the syringe before removal of the LTS to avoid damage to the cuffs.